So in this ever-changing world of JavaScript stuff, uh, there's a lot has changed since the series was released. And a lot of people are wondering about, you know, is this stuff going to work with various versions of these new things? So what I want to do is take this time to update our project to not only React 15, but sort of the latest versions of everything that we need, including Webpack, and really transform this stuff. So if you've haven't gotten started with this series yet uh, and you want to go ahead and just follow these examples we're just editing the package.json file as well as the webpack file and maybe just the app.js file that should be it but either way we're going to get this project up so it's running with the latest stuff and you don't have to struggle through any of that now the first thing i want to do is i want to update react to version 15 and now 15 is no longer in a version where it's zero point it's actually 15 point uh, zero and we can just say point zero like this and we also need react dom because when react uh, i think it was version 14 uh, they got rid of essentially the react render that was being used and now we need react to dom to do that So we can say react dom at version 15. Okay, so we have both of these dependencies now webpack server I'm going to upgrade and we're going to change this to version 14 1.14 Okay, webpack will leave at version 12 and we want to have some other stuff before we get into Babel loader we want Babel preset ES 2015 and we want Babel uh, preset react so I'm gonna just copy this just so I have something here that starts with Babel and we could say Babel preset ES 2015 and then this one we can say Babel preset hyphen react cool super super cool Okay, now we can change this preset React version. We can change this to 6.5, and we can change this ES2015 to 6.6. .6. Now we can change this Babel loader to 6.2, and then we can change Babel core to 6.7. So as you can see, a lot's changed since we last uh, started this project here. Super, super cool. Let's go ahead and head to our command line and run uh, npm install. So at this point in recording, a lot's already been done in this application, but if you're just starting from scratch, uh, you might not see some of these files that I have in here. So don't worry too much about these additional files. Just modify what I'm showing you here based on what's in the first video, and that should be A-OK. -okay. And if you haven't done the first video or the first one of building this application with Webpack and everything, feel free to copy this package.json dependencies as you see here and run an npm install. After that's all good, we're going to start modifying our webpack configuration file itself. Okay, we have all of our dependencies. Now let's go ahead and head over to our webpack.config.js. Now, we had basically just this app.js in here before, and that's all fine. However, we can clean this up a little bit like we can have this just be looking at this string. We don't need an array here because all we're looking at is we're looking in the source folder in app.js for the entry. Now the output, we're going to remain as just dir name and then the file name itself is going to go ahead and just remain lowercase app.js. Now module is where we're gonna see some larger changes. So we have test under loaders right here and test looks the exact same we're not changing this test at all we're going to now add an exclude so we're going to exclude and we're going to exclude node modules so our node modules are excluded okay now we can comma that now we're going to keep our loader as Babel. however this time we're going to add a query like this and that query is going to accept an object which is going to have a property of presets. Now, if you remember, we added presets in our NPM packages just a bit ago, which we want ES2015. And as a second string, we're going to want to add React like this. Super, 
super cool. Let's go ahead and stop our dev server if you have yours running. And let's go ahead and run dot forward slash known modules forward slash dot bin forward slash webpack dev server so we can get our dev server up and running. And as you can see, uh, our bundle is now valid. Let's head to our actual application now and give it a refresh. And as you can see, we're getting some stuff about render not being a function. Okay, so this is what I was talking about with React DOM. Let's head to app.js. And while yours may not look like this, and you may not have this already, we have react.render here. What we need is React DOM. So let's go ahead and import render from React DOM. You know, we can just import render itself by using the curly brackets and importing render from and then we can grab react hyphen dom now down here we can just simply remove the word react and have render okay let's head back to our application hit refresh and boom you should see it up and running now, like I said, if you're modifying this based on the first video, you're not going to see all this. You can successfully continue on to the other videos. Just note that this render where we have our render function here where we write that is going to be render rather than react dot render. Other than that, everything else is the exact same. So now that we have our React application up to the latest versions of everything, we're now ready to continue with this series. So hopefully that cleared up some issues that people were having with the latest versions of things and, and just everything sort of uh, changing. Uh, I guess this is the nature of stuff and video content sort of hard to keep up to date. But as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, if you comment on the video, hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.